Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Helen, a docent at the Art Museum. The Japanese woodblock print artist Utagawa Hiroshige, though a samurai, followed the path of a traditional craftsman. Completing an apprenticeship with a master artist, he learned to create standard geisha and kabuki actor prints, but over the course of his career, he was often a rule breaker, experimenting with special effects and subjects to attract customers. We see many examples of this in his last great series, 100 Famous Views of Edo. Night View, Sarawaku Street, is a perfect illustration. The Western perspective you see here was an unusual compositional tool for a Japanese artist. Hiroshige used it to show the government-licensed theater district in Edo, now known as Tokyo. That perspective gives us a sense of how packed the 300-yard-long street was with puppet theaters, tea houses, and the three officially sanctioned kabuki theaters. It's late, and revelers are strolling toward the gate at the south end of the street, lingering just a few more moments. Take a close look at the shadows cast by the moon. To the Japanese, they were a new curiosity in an artwork. Here Shige used the shadows to lend an air of otherworldliness to the scene, a space apart from the everyday worries and problems of ordinary life. Japanese theaters immersed audiences in the tales of heroism, tragedy, and fantasy, and his print reflects that. In 1856, as a well-established artist, Hiroshige could challenge the woodblock printers to use special effects. The wispy clouds drifting across the moon required an extra step in the printing process. The printer needed to wipe just a bit of black ink in just the right amount in just the right spot so as not to obstruct the full moon. It's probably the full moon of August. But wait, why August? That's because the theaters are closed for the summer break. Notice the two block boxes on the rooftops on the right. Those are yakura, granted by the government only to officially licensed theaters. But below the yakura, there are no banners or signs announcing upcoming events. The fall season didn't start until the ninth day of the ninth month. These customers were here just to sample the famous tea houses in the area. Hiroshige, the retired firefighter, couldn't resist including the required fire buckets in the composition. They are stacked on a box with the bold kanji for fire, ready for everyone to help in case of an emergency. When the theater season opened, it was an entirely different scene. In this 1840s print, Hiroshige caught the excitement with the facades of the theaters now crowded with banners. Even the Yakura now sports the crest of the establishment. Signboards above the awning list the names of the top-tier actors. Yes, it was a wildly colorful sight. The Edo Tokyo Museum has a marvelous reconstruction of the front of an 1850s kabuki theater. The museum is just across the Sumida River from the Asakusa district where Sarawaku Street once lured customers into a world of make-believe and escape. Many Hiroshige prints captured scenes of famous plays as if you were inside the theater. Kabuki actors dressed as brave samurais, swords drawn, act out one of the final scenes of Japan's most famous play, Chushingura, the Treasury of Loyal Retainers. Based on a true story of revenge, it's often performed at New Year's. It's an exciting story of loyalty, perseverance, and good triumphing over evil. I hope that you enjoyed learning about the special effects that made Hiroshige's prints so popular with his 19th century Japanese fans. What types of special effects do you like in cartoons and films? Night View, Sarawaku Street gave you a little peek into the Kabuki Theater. 
What types of theater do you attend? Musicals? Shakespeare? Fringe festivals? Here's Shiggy's print is not on view right now at the museum, but the next time you visit, check out another theater district, a temporary one, and William Hogarth's Southwark Fair and Gallery 210. Thanks.